Nicolaccio by your Princess Silka. pushes our buttons what what pushes our buttons what happens when something pushes our buttons what are we feeling whatever that is we are feeling invariably it is we do not feel that we are good enough. We feel diminished. Yes, some get angry, which is another expression of fear. What pushes our buttons is that somewhere, somehow, something was carved within us, which made us feel that you're not good enough. And when anybody else comes up with something similar, some mechanics, subconsciously, you feel you are in repetition. And repetition of that what happened before. From someone else, anybody else, or that someone else what, who was supposed to take care of you, who was supposed to parent you. When someone pushes your button, mostly it is in repetition of what happened to you before. It is your button, not anybody else's button, which is pushed. So your reaction to it is what you wish to analyze and conclude. Your reaction, your sudden your blood raises, your heart raises, you. <gasps> that. See, this is not about um, repressing it. Hence the path work. You do, not, you do not want to repress it. Hence the path work. You do not want to pretend it doesn't exist and you go yourself through and meditate and put on the candle and go, 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 go. That's not what you want to do. You want to actually face it. That's what you want to do. You want to look at it. Shit. You want to look at it straight in the eyes. That's what you want to do. And hence, when anybody pushes your button, what you need to do right away, turn around, go somewhere else. Find a private place. Find a spot. Yeah, and maybe start writing immediately. Anywhere you can, just for yourself. And everything what happens in your head, just write it out. Yeah, call a bitch, or call him asshole, whatever that is. Write it out, write it out, write it out. Let it go, all, 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 out there. Yes, feel all you want, all the anger, all the rage, everything you want. And when you're done, crying or whatever that is outbursting maybe you can ask to understand what it is what it was maybe you can but see how on good lord's earth can you get rid of the shit well two things You gotta have something to offer to yourself. Remember, it triggers your button because you think you're not good enough. And there is no logic to it, my dear people. There is no logic to it. There is no logic which can tell you, oh look, I know all this, I know all that, I know how to do this. And look at my, ooh, I look so good, I look so good. See, that doesn't matter. 
It doesn't matter what you know how to do and what you did. Ah, uh, not even the good looks. Whatever that is you have going on there for yourself. It doesn't matter because that will not convince you to be worthwhile unless you actually go for it. Unless you appreciate and value, evaluate, validate yourself, evaluate, evaluate, you know, all this validation, do it. Hence, you must understand that you need to go for the stuff you actually do like and enjoy. You need to reinforce yourself. You need to have something to offer to yourself. So you need to and must do anything what you enjoy. So if you want to do this, you must enjoy. And that you must enjoy. And if you don't like your face, although you're pretty, think about it. Why in a good Lord's earth would you not like your face? Yeah, because someone made you feel unworthy. Or maybe someone intended to abuse you because of it. I don't want to say it. I have the perfect body and I lose my body. Yeah, because someone wanted to touch my sides in the movie theater. No, I was with my mother. I was 11. I was terrified. I turned into a tomboy. But I did not understand that. Well, I did not. I did not understand that. Like let's say for a long time but I did reinforce myself and that took a long time too then not today it does not have to do but then it was so you need to reinforce yourself and you need to understand that whatever that is pushes your buttons is because someone told you you're not good enough and yes of course you can go like the bitches lazy lane I go in lazy lane <laughs> Lazy, I'm going lazy late. I don't want to look. I don't want to give. I don't give a shit what princess says. What princess shit? Come here, I'm gonna shit on you because that makes me a better shitter when I can shit on princess directly. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a star. <laughs> oh my god, did they have the ability to make me feel like shit? Right, I'm 5 a.m. and I feel like shit already. How about that? <laughs> power to what people? <laughs> no, that's no power. My, Power versus force. That's force, guys. Yeah, no, absorb it. No, I would... I, yeah, you know what I would do. Hey, Chet. <laughs> no, I'm laughing. That's sarcastic, okay? Yeah, it's almost an albur, but it's not. But it's not even funny. That's why. I know how to albur. Yeah, well, you have to get to the next level of raffiness and albur. Because I don't do that. Uh, how do you say this? Sexual allure? I don't do that. I don't want it. Particularly not that. Let me think about something different. See, look, Lazy Lane just doesn't want to look. And Lazy Lane does. <laughs> you know the vomit emoticon? Yeah, that one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Quietly and silently they do that. <laughs> and then I get redheaded. Well, inside, they're already grey. They look like grey, like grey. Let's not talk about those shits. They can't help themselves. They're just evil shits. Yeah, they might... What? Redeem? That's, they can't redeem. Yeah, they do the... After the crouching. Yeah, they go even downer. And then they go upper again. And who wants to know? I don't. So, the third thing you need to do is the stuff with the forgiveness you know do you know do you know you gotta forgive you you know <laughs> you do you know you do you do you do you do need to forgive you know okay so what is forgiveness let me dial in rapasso yeah let me refresh the memory what forgiveness is because that's that's yeah let me think it's a nice word yeah that's a bunch the forgiveness shit is a bunch see don't get it wrong the shits don't have forgiveness, guys. That's not what forgiveness is about. The shits do not have forgiveness. No, fuck them shits. Yeah. That's not forgiveness for you. 
no tienen perdón los hijos de la chingada y que se vayan al infierno los hijos de puta también ok yeah yet what you want to do you want to distinguish yourself from that shit that's what you need to do forgiveness just means that you understand that their shit is theirs and you are you so pinta tu raya you create a very important differentiation like a wall where they are on that side and you are on your side get it that's what you need to do and then you forgive the time you had to spend with the shit and move forward and that's all you have to do move away understand it is not you it's them unless of course you get engaged and you want to fight back then of course you're on the same dumb level as the spiders and there it is where you must or redeem yourself or go on lazy lane but it's not the way you can actually live so don't Forgiveness is the inherent knowledge and consciousness that yeah, your mother was a narcissist and your daddy is a shit and there it is, but it's not you. And that is what children absorb. They think everything that happens around them is their fault. Yeah, why are the little kids so harsh? I see they're brutal violent. They look like motherfuckers who are 18 or 20 when they're like six, seven and eight. Yeah, because maybe their parents get all drunk and no one likes that kid and they all hate the kid and no one takes education, no one does the limits, no one does anything. And then the kids think, I don't get love here. I don't. Limits is a form of love, by the way. I don't get love here. I'm not respected. I have nothing. I must be in guilt. I must be responsible for this. And if they don't know how to be warm, then they get harsh. Yeah, beating kids. They don't have any future. Well, look at that. You are not responsible for what other people do to you. You are narcissist. They are search for people who service them. Yeah, they prowl around the corner waiting for you. Nyaka nyaka, who's gonna be my next victim? That's what they say. You are not responsible for them. You are not responsible for anybody around you. You're only responsible for yourself. And you go ahead, get yourself a little book, one for writing, one for reading. And go explore yourself and grow. And grow with me. Yes, grow with me. Thank mm-hmm. you.